Hello Dolphins fans, just like you, I woke up today with the bitter taste of yesterday's loss. Unfortunately, we made a lot of mistakes, and if coach Mike McDaniel doesn't fix the problem soon, we'll be out of the playoffs. I want to ask you a question before I start today's news. Are you in favor of firing GM Chris Greer? If so, hit the like button. If possible, write something like, out with Greer. The Miami Dolphins need a new GM. The Miami Dolphins season has reached a critical juncture, and after another disheartening loss, questions are emerging about what the future holds for this team. Despite solid individual performances and fleeting moments of hope, the overall picture is one of inconsistency and frustration. Let's break it down. The stats, the decisions, the challenges, and what's next as the Dolphins fight to stay relevant in the playoff conversation. Sunday's game left fans shaking their heads. It wasn't just about the loss itself, but how it happened, weakness at the line of scrimmage, poor execution, and a staggering 20 missed tackles that put any hope of a comeback out of reach. Even with Tua Tagovailoa putting up impressive numbers, completing 37 of 46 passes for 360 yards, two touchdowns, and no interceptions, the Dolphins struggled to capitalize in key moments. The stats may look good on paper, but much of that came during a game that was already slipping away. Tybo Vailoa's performance remains a divisive topic among fans. On one hand, he has demonstrated growth and consistency, completing at least 70% of his passes for six consecutive games, currently the longest streak in the NFL, tied with Jared Goff. He also ranks third in the league with a passer rating of 108. Yet, questions persist about whether he's doing enough to elevate the team. Critics argue that while Tua is far from the reason Miami is struggling, he also hasn't been able to carry the team when it matters most. Supporters point to games where he's thrived without elite surrounding talent, but the debate is far from settled. One of the biggest storylines this week revolves around Shaq Barrett. The Dolphins opted not to activate the pass rusher from the reserve retired list, a decision that has sparked both frustration and understanding among fans. Barrett, who initially retired citing personal reasons, reportedly expressed interest in returning to play, potentially for another team making a playoff push. However, Miami's leadership, including head coach Mike McDaniel, decided against it, citing the timing and logistical challenges. Chris Kaufman broke down the situation, explaining how Barrett's sudden return forced the Dolphins into an unworkable 48-hour window to assess his readiness, salary cap implications, and overall value to the team. Simply put, Miami wasn't willing to make a rush decision, especially when their focus is on resolving current issues within the roster. Speaking of the roster, there were some bright spots on an otherwise bleak Sunday. Tight end John Smith had a career game, catching 10 passes for 113 yards, marking a new single-game high for him. Smith's contributions this season have been remarkable, with 58 receptions, 648 yards, and 4 touchdowns so far, career highs in every category. Meanwhile, running back Devon Achain surpassed 1,000 scrimmage yards, adding another layer to his breakout season. Yet, individual milestones mean little when the team continues to falter in crucial games. Defensive struggles remain a glaring issue. After the game, linebacker Jordan Brooks didn't mince words, calling the team soft and admitting that the cold weather played a role in their lackluster performance. It's a disappointing reality for a team that has repeatedly claimed to be unaffected by external factors. Whether it's missed tackles, poor defensive positioning, or simply being outmuscled at the line of scrimmage, the Dolphins need answers fast. Injuries have also taken their toll. Cornerback Cam Smith dislocated his shoulder during the game, and while Kendall Fuller may return for the next matchup against the Jets, the secondary continues to be a point of concern. On the offensive line, Liam Eikenberg made his 50th career start but struggled, contributing to Miami's inability to protect Tua and establish any consistent rhythm on offense. Head coach Mike McDaniel's post-game remarks reflected a sense of frustration that has become all too familiar. He acknowledged his role in questionable play calling, particularly a fourth-and goal situation where the Dolphins failed to capitalize. It's the kind of self-inflicted wound that has plagued this team throughout the season. Fans have heard similar sentiments before, acknowledgement of mistakes without visible progress. McDaniel himself admitted that the team knows it's capable of winning these games, but continues to make the same errors. As it stands, the Dolphins are clinging to faint playoff hopes. They've dropped a spot in the standings, now sitting behind the Indianapolis Colts due to a tiebreaker. With six games remaining, Miami would need an unlikely combination of winning out and other teams collapsing to have any real shot. Even then, the reality of a one-and-done playoff appearance looms large, especially if they face powerhouse teams like Buffalo or Baltimore. 
This season was supposed to be a turning point for the Dolphins, yet here we are again, discussing missed opportunities and underwhelming performances. But what do you think, Dolphins fans? Is there still hope for this team to turn things around, or are we looking at another season of unfulfilled expectations? Share your thoughts below, and let's talk about what's next for Miami. The Miami Dolphins now find themselves in a precarious position. After a disheartening 30-17 loss to the Green Bay Packers, their playoff hopes, while technically alive, are hanging by a thread. At 5-7, the team faces an uphill battle that requires nothing less than perfection to salvage the season. The stakes are clear. Winning their final five games is not just a goal, it's an absolute necessity. The road ahead is anything but easy. The Dolphins' remaining schedule includes matchups against the New York Jets and San Francisco 49ers at home, as well as challenging road games against the Houston Texans, Cleveland Browns, and a second meeting with the Jets. Each of these teams presents unique challenges, whether it's the physicality of Cleveland's defense, the explosive playmaking of San Francisco, or even the divisional grit the Jets bring to every encounter. The margin for error? Non-existent. Despite the daunting task, the team refuses to concede. Veteran defensive lineman Kelly Campbell, a respected voice in the locker room, expressed a cautious optimism after the Packers' loss. I told the guys I feel 10-7 gets us in, Campbell said. We got to believe that our efforts will matter if we do what we're supposed to do. I think it gives us a shot. I've seen some crazy things happen. It's a sentiment that captures the resilience of this team, even in the face of overwhelming odds. Quarterback Tua Tagovailoa echoed Campbell's sentiments, emphasizing that the dream is still alive for Miami. I wouldn't say the dream's dead for our team just yet, Tagovailoa said. Anything can happen in this league. His words reflect the unpredictable nature of the NFL, where momentum shifts can change fortunes overnight. Still, the pressure is squarely on his shoulders to lead the charge. While Tua has shown flashes of brilliance this season, the next five weeks will test his mettle as a leader and his ability to perform under the highest stakes. To reach 10-7 and keep their postseason hopes alive, the Dolphins must address glaring issues that have plagued them all season. The defense, in particular, has been inconsistent, surrendering crucial plays at the worst times. Against Green Bay, missed tackles, blown assignments, and a lack of physicality allowed the Packers to dictate the pace of the game. It's a recurring theme that must be resolved immediately if Miami hopes to turn things around. Offensively, the Dolphins must find ways to capitalize in key moments. The game against the Packers highlighted their struggles in the red zone and an inability to sustain drives when it mattered most. While Tua Tagovailoa delivered solid numbers through the air, those stats meant little without the ability to translate them into points. Complementing Tua's efforts, the run game must also step up. Devon Chain has been a revelation this season, but his contributions alone won't be enough. The offensive line, battered by injuries and inconsistency, must rise to the occasion to provide the protection and push needed to establish balance. The Dolphins also face the challenge of maintaining focus and confidence amid growing pressure. Losing can be demoralizing, but Campbell's message of belief and persistence underscores the team's mindset. For a squad that has shown potential in flashes, the ability to string together five consecutive wins will require not only physical execution but mental toughness. But what do you think, Dolphins fans? Are you holding out hope for a miraculous playoff push, or do you think this season will be remembered as another case of what could have been? Share your thoughts below as we prepare for the final stretch of this roller coaster campaign.